In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Live Optics Collector to collect configuration and performance data from a Dell PowerStore. To download the Live Optics Collector, visit the Live Optics portal at app.liveoptics.com. Log in using your email address and provide your password. From the dashboard, click on Download Collector under the Start a New Project panel. You have an option to download a Windows or Linux-based version of the collector. We highly recommend using the Windows version. Click on Download Windows Collector. Notice that Live Optics is building a custom collector. The Live Optics Collector, when downloaded, is configured to work with your Live Optics account and will automatically upload data to your account. Please do not forward or share a copy of your customized collector. Once downloaded, locate the Live Optics zip file and extract it. Inside the Live Optics folder, you will find the Live Optics executable as well as the Live Optics security tech brief. If this is your first time to run the Live Optics Collector, we highly recommend reviewing this document. Run the Live Optics Executable. This will not install anything on the host computer, as this is a standalone executable. Click on the Storage category, and you'll find various storage systems that Live Optics supports for data collection. Click on PowerStore. Provide the host name or IP address of the PowerStore system. Enter the administrative credentials or the user credentials that is able to read configuration data from PowerStore. Click on Next. You have an option to upload the collected data directly to the Live Optics web service or to create an SIO kit file. If the host computer running the collector does not have an internet connection, choose the second option. If you choose the second option, you will need to copy the SIO kit file to a computer that has an internet connection. You can use another copy of this collector to upload the SIO kit file to the Live Optics web service, or you can log into the Live Optics portal to upload the SIO kit file. We highly recommend using the first option to upload the data directly to the Live Optics web service. Provide a project name for this data collection. This will help you properly identify this system from the Live Optics dashboard. The collector will now communicate with PowerStore and collect configuration and performance data from the logs currently stored within the PowerStore appliance. Once data collection is done, the collector will upload the collected data to the Live Optics web service. If you stream the data upload to the Live Optics web service, you have the option to back up the collected data to an SIO kit file for future use. This is optional and you may skip ahead. For this demo, we'll save a backup copy and create the SIO kit file. Once complete, you can run another collection, quit the application, or visit the Live Optics web portal. Let's open a web browser and visit the Live Optics web portal. You can find your project on the Live Optics dashboard. Let's open our project. Here you'll see a summary of the PowerStore appliance. The section on the left provides a summary on the project and displays the cluster name. The center panel indicates the number and names of appliances, as well as capacity and DRR at the cluster level. The panel on the right shows the appliance level inventory and DRR ratio. Let's click on performance from the top navigation bar. Note that the performance information shown here is at the cluster level. The top section provides information on the peak, 95th percentile, and average IOPS and throughput. In the lower section, we have a workload concentration graph. The IOPS graph indicates both read and write IOPS. In the throughput graph, the horizontal green line indicates the 95th percentile. We also have the IO size graph showing the IO size in kibibytes. And the latency graph shows read and write latency in milliseconds. From the upper right corner, you can also download a copy of the Excel report. The Excel report provides information on volumes such as logical use capacity and unique physical use capacity. It provides collective details for block and virtual volumes, excluding snapshot and clone type volumes. We hope you found this useful. Thank you for using Live Optics.